Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And uh, we just finished the uh, uh, tip on uh, materials in the oops uh, window, <laughs> which originally intended to be uh, something showing the basics of material and turned into a bit on the uh, oops schematic. So now we're back, and I want to show a couple of the basics on materials. And so I don't get distracted. <laughs> I'm going to click on materials. We've got our colors here. So for example, you know, I'm going to switch this to a different object. See, this is how I start getting distracted. I'm going to switch this to a different object and make this a nice sphere. And I'm going to click add new to add a new uh, material. And we'll make it red. I'm going to go ahead and make this a smooth object. I'm going to look through the uh, camera window. And what you can do is you can, you've got red for your, your main color of your object. You can also add a specular color. So for example, we can make this a specular color of yellow. And the specular color you'll see here changed to yellow. The specular is, is the highlight. And then also you can affect the uh, color of its uh, mirror transparency. So if it had some mirroring in it, uh, you can affect that too. So if we clicked on Ray Mirror, had this on there, see how you're getting that bluish in there mm -hmm. instead of white? So if I switch back to white, which is like just the color itself. So you can add a tint to your mirror as well, which is neat. That's the Ray Mirror button. Yeah. You can make it uh, transparent. And, well, I clicked transparent, nothing happened. That's because the alpha is still set way up. So here I can start making it transparent. Now it's just like straight see-through, right? Mm -hmm. Now, typically when you're looking through uh, like a glass of water or even a thick glass, uh, what happens? You kind of see it differently than you would when you don't look through it. Like... It's kind of curved a little bit than usual. It's curved, that's right. That's because the light's being bent. Well, we can simulate that in 3D, too, with the IOR, which is index of uh, refraction, how much it's bending. So here, now we're getting that effect. Mm -hmm. And water is around, I think, 1.3 or 1.4. So uh, that gets a nice bending of, uh, of the light as it goes through. Kind of if you put, like, like a pencil... A pencil behind the glass of water, which is an experiment I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say we wanted to do, uh, uh, in order to use these features, notice it says ray mirror or ray transparency and ray mirror. You need to have your ray tracer on when you render. But if you're trying to pound something out and you need some transparency, you don't need that index of re, uh, fraction. We can turn this off, and then you see, oh, that looks that looks awful, because uh, yeah. <laughs> it can't deal with it. Well, what we could do is we could turn on Z transparency, and what this will do is allow you to have it be see through, uh, but no refraction. And the cool thing is, you don't need the ray tracer on. So mm -hmm. if I had this here, let's just throw on a cube, and we'll move that over, so. and do a quick. We'll have something to reflect off of. You can see right through. Or oh, see through off of, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, I'll do that on another bit probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So uh, actually, if you wanna uh, uh, do something to reflect off of, we can uh, we can do that. I'll just do a Shift D and then I'll just drag it. And uh, let's see if we can get a reflection off of here. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it solid again, because that'll, I think, make it more interesting. And we'll turn on Ray Mirror. And that's got some reflection. We'll hit Render. And I don't see anything. <laughs> so I see a little tint of gray. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get uh, get it in there. Maybe we should make it really reflective. All right, but you know what my problem is? <laughs> How embarrassing, because I just explained this. Uh, I forgot to click the ray button, and click <laughs> render, and there, we're getting reflection. Now, notice, we're getting reflection of the cube, 
but we're also getting reflection of the, the bluish uh, background color. So uh, that's an important thing to note that it's, it's picking that up. We've got our reflection in there. Uh, we can also add a little bit of transparency with a little bit of bending of the light. And uh, of course I changed it to solid again. So let me go back to making that see through with some bending. Take a look. And that's hard to see through. I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent. I think it's reflecting too much. So let's, let's reduce the reflectivity. Make it even more transparent. And then you can see it's really bending around. And we can reduce the refraction a bit. So you can see in there what's going on. Might even be easier if I turn ray mirror off. So you can see the the way it's bending. Kind of neat. And uh, you can also in your shaders. Here, let's uh, click that stuff off and set it back to being solid. Uh, you've got different shaders you can use. Like you can use a tune shader and alter the. Uh, the amount of the uh, the shading. So for example we can increase the size of that and then we can set the uh, specular for to tune. And that's our yellow specular light there. How smooth it is is, is like the, the softness of this edge. So if you wanted a real hard edge you can see that's a real pixely hard edge now and you can do the same thing on your specular. Will it look different when you render it? Also, you know, actually, no. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, hit render. See that it's got a nice hard edge where the light's hitting it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I turn uh, anti-aliasing on, so oversampling, you'll see it. It softened it a bit, but it's still a very crisp edge. And really, those settings are just stuff you can play with. And uh, I think uh, I think that's it uh, for. Uh, a basic introduction to uh, materials. Mm -hmm. Bye!